Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is what would your memoir or autobiography be called and why? Abstruse nuances. Nuances because I believe in things being more complex at the edges. No matter how deeply you go into an issue, there's always a point at which you're going, well, it goes either way. So you can't draw a binary and go, this is always good, this is always bad. There'll always be a line where there's an uncertainty. And the finer and finer you draw the line, the finer and finer the distinction. But you never get to the point where it's clear and obvious and you can write down, okay, here is the rule that will work for every situation that has happened, is happening, and will ever happen, and we don't need to ever change this rule again. And secondly, because if it's a memoir or autobiography, people are reading it to find out about me rather than reading it for a dull recitation of the facts that are the same. So no one really wants to know that I ate breakfast this morning. They want to know what's special about this breakfast, what the subtle differences are that make my eating of breakfast interesting, and so on. So memoirs and autobiographies are all about the nuances, mine in particular, because I like nuance. And also, I like the word nuance. So I think that anyone who wanted to read about me would potentially be the kind of person who liked words too. So I'd like the words to represent the kind of words I like. And abstruse because I like oddities. I don't like the usual run-of-the-mill things like sport and going to pubs and other things that men of my age and social status and so on usually do. Which isn't to say I dislike them, I just don't like them. My hobbies are slightly non-mainstream. And I so I am abstruse. And secondly, because one of the little nuggets that's different potentially for me from other people is that I was once told by someone that I was the only person they'd ever encountered who used the word abstruse. They used this word that they'd never encountered before and there is something in psychology called frequency illusion which is where if you see something or hear about something for the first time suddenly after that you'll see it a lot so you discover that your favorite pop star likes hummus and sugar sandwiches and then a couple of days later you'll see an article in a magazine in the dentist's waiting room about artisanal sugar and hummus sandwiches and it's a cognitive bias the, the things were always there but because something has made you notice it your brain being a pattern engine tends to notice it again and again and again and again and look for this thing to support the pattern and work out what the pattern is. But this person saw me use abstruse and then they didn't see it again. They didn't suffer the frequency illusion that they should have suddenly noticed that other people used it at all. And so therefore I have decided to claim it as my word. It is now mine. Whenever anyone wants to use the word, they will now have to think of me. And so, well, seriously, that's an interesting enough story to open a memoir or biography with, which from a practical point of view 
you'd want to do because that's the bit people will see when they read your autobiography sample on a retailer. So if you open up with, here's an interesting story about the title, people are gonna go, hmm, that's interesting. I'll read on, in which case, they're probably the kind of person who'd like my autobiography. Or they'll go, what? Why would that be interesting? In which case, they've saved themselves however much my autobiography costs because they don't like the kind of things that I like. So if I wrote an autobiography, I would call it abstruse nuance. And that would leave me the chance to write a second one about my second life called abstruse nuances. But really what I'd like is for someone else to write a biography of me because that would mean that I'd achieved something significant enough that someone else had decided my life would be of general interest to people. And that would be kind of cool. So hopefully that was of interest to you. So, toodaloo for now.